What's up, YouTube, and all my Forex fiends out there? Corey Smith here, CoreFX, bringing you a quick video on introduction to Forex, what the Forex markets are, foreign currency exchange, FX, whatever it is you want to call it. I'm going to dive into an introductory video here, why you should know about it, how you can use it to change your life, and what exactly makes up the Forex markets. Quick little background on myself, how I got involved in the Forex markets. I was studying international business in college, essentially, they stopped offering part of my major towards the end of my um, time there. And as a makeup for one of the courses they didn't offer, I had to write an um, independent study, like a 25-page paper, on the valuation of the euro versus the U.S. dollar over the last 25 years and what caused the change in value. And what I came to find is a huge percentage of that, the major percentage of that, comes to speculation. Speculation is investors like you and I, or if you haven't started investing in Forex yet, um, anybody who invests in the value of an asset, trying to make money on the change of that value. So when you speculate on foreign currencies, you buy or sell them, speculating that they're going to change in price to make you a profit. I'm going to buy the euro versus the dollar, hoping that the euro gets stronger, the dollar gets weaker, and then I sell the euro at a higher price, aka I made money. It's like buying a stock, right? You buy a stock goes up in price, you sell the stock, you made a profit. So I've traded professionally. I trade a privately managed um, Forex fund for a company. I've done professional analysis. I do professional analysis for T3 Live, one of the biggest trading companies in the US. I've traded for multiple proprietary trading firms. This is when you trade a firm's capital, keep a percentage of the profits. I've been trading for six years professionally for over two. So. Um, Thank you guys. I appreciate you tuning into the video. I'm going to go ahead and dive into a PowerPoint now to go over what Forex is and let you guys in on a little bit of a... Uh... So the Forex markets. I get asked all the time what they are. Um, a lot of friends and family of mine here, Forex, FX, what is that? What could that possibly be? What is he spending all this time doing? How is he making this money? Um, a lot of people ask this. A lot of people on, on Instagram message me. A lot of people on YouTube contact me. Um, so I wanted to make a video here, giving you guys a quick little introduction, diving into what Forex is. Forex is an acronym for Foreign Exchange. It is the um, exchange of currency from one currency to another. So uh, what the foreign exchange market is, is it is essentially made up of um, banks. It's a system of banks all over the world, right? So when you... Go to, I'm an American, so I'm, I'm speaking in first person as being an American. When you go to Europe for vacation and you want to exchange U.S. dollars for euros, right? You're going to buy euros by selling U.S. dollars, in essence. So that is a foreign exchange or forex transaction. If Germany sells BMWs to the United States, they need to transfer euros into dollars. That is foreign currency trade. Um... If a speculator or a trader like I want to sit home and bet on the value change in these currencies, that is trading. So the Forex markets are every exchange of currencies around the world. There's tons of different currencies. There's, as you know, tons of different countries. So there's a lot of different transactions. Now, typically in the stock markets, there are exchanges that facilitate the buying and selling of stocks, which is a portion of ownership of a company. However, with foreign exchange markets, there is no centralized um, exchange. All it is is a network of banks around the world. So whenever there's banks open in any country of the world, foreign exchange transactions are being facilitated. They are being traded, right? So um, they're the most heavily traded market in the world. Well over $5 trillion are traded in a day in the foreign exchange markets. To break that into a little bit of perception for you, uh, a couple years ago, the New York Stock Exchange, one of the biggest stock exchanges in the world, recorded $200 billion transacted a day. Now compare $200 billion to $5 trillion, and it's well over $5 trillion, and you will have the forex markets. Gigantic compared to any market on the planet. It's the buying and selling of company stocks, but the stocks are currencies of different nations. Now, this is just an analogy to help you uh, get the concept of what it is. Picture the U.S. economy being a company, 
and the US dollar being shares of that company. When you buy US dollars, you're buying hope in the company of the US getting stronger and that dollar going up in value. Okay, so think of currencies as hypothetically stocks you own in a company. Only the company is the country. So when you're buying or selling currencies, you want that to be based on the supply and demand of that currency for that company, that country, right? Um, the exchange rate of a company is a reflection of what that nation. So the exchange rate of a currency, sorry, um, is a direct reflection of that nation's economic status. The supply and demand of their currency is in direct reflection to the value of that currency, just like stocks are with companies, right? So again, there's no central exchange, only a system of interbanks transacting each other um, to form a market. So banks exchange funds, which creates a buying and selling and allows people to buy and sell. Now, the foreign exchange markets have not been around for a long time. I mean, they have been around for a long time, but the accessibility that traders like you and I have has not been around for a long time. With the evolution of technology and the internet, it has made it possible to be able to trade anywhere in the world at any time of day, 24 hours a day, Sunday to Friday, right? So it creates an additional form of income for people who already have jobs, who have a chunk of money that they were handed down in inheritance. Um, if you want a side job, you want to quit your job and work for yourself. There are a lot of different avenues that Forex can open for you. The first and foremost, and I think most important, is an additional form of income. Everybody should have multiple streams of income, and that is something that Forex offers you. It's not an easily achieved one. It does take a lot of hard work, effort, time, money, stress, everything you can think of. It is very hard, but it is very, very well worth it. Because when you can have your money work for you, and you no longer are working for your money, that is when you have achieved financial freedom. Um, again, you can become financially free by trading for a living. This is when you have money in an account. You make money off the returns you create with that money. You're not working for anybody. You're not being told what to do. You're not waking up and being someplace at a set time every day of your life. You can trade from a laptop on a cruise ship with internet. You can trade from any country in the world with internet. You can trade from your cell phone with internet. It gives you freedom. So it's 24 hour a day trading. Like I said, on Sundays when the New Zealand and Australian banks open, you can start trading all the way until the New York banks close on Friday at 5 p.m. 24-7 you can trade. So you can work the graveyard shift and be able to trade. You can work 10-hour shifts all day long, never be able to be free during the stock markets hours, but you could get off work and trade the, the Forex markets. It is very flexible for any schedule of any person to be able to trade it. Five days a week. It allows for anywhere in the world to be trading it. As long as you have internet, you can trade it. You can trade the US dollar from China. You can trade the Chinese Yuan from Sri Lanka. You can trade anything, anywhere, any time of day, 24 hours a day. There are very low barriers to entry. All you need is internet and some kind of a smart device from anywhere in the world. Again, it does not require a lot of capital. You can open an account with 50 US dollars and you can get 4,000 to one leverage and have buying power of a lot of money. Um, the commissions are very small. So if you guys are familiar with stock market trading, let's say the average commission is around $8 now, I'd say, per trade. If you want to buy a uh, collection of stocks, you pay $8 just to buy it. Then when you want to sell it and get out of the trade, you pay another $8. So that's $16 right there in each transaction. In foreign exchange markets, you pay spreads, the difference between the bid and the ask price, technical stuff if you're new, but it's very small commissions. You could, for $16, you could make 100 trades in a row and still not pay that much money to make trades. So very cheap to enter, very small commissions. Anybody can trade Forex. Anybody, anywhere, with any background, can get access to learn how to do this. That is why it is critical to learn. How to begin trading Forex? Study, study, study. Learn the basics. Watch my videos. Babypips.com. Great free reference. Um, study the basics until you have a general understanding. Then the next major step is you find a broker. You open a demo account. What this is, is fake money. It's play money. If you've ever been to the casino and you play and you gamble with real money, but then you've ever played a slot machine game on your iPad that's fake coins or a video game, this is what... This is what a demo account is in trading. It is play money. It gets you a feel for the markets, how to execute trades, how to use the platform, how to buy and sell and adjust and all that stuff without losing your money. 
Because if you just throw money into a live account and open an account, you will blow money, right? So find a broker to open a demo account with fake money. Almost every single broker you ever come across, if you just type Forex broker into Google, you'll find them. And every one of them has an option to just open up a, a demo account. You can open up a million dollar demo account. You can open up a $500 demo account. That doesn't matter. Just open up a demo account. Get familiar with the platforms. See if this is something you're interested in. If you don't have any interest in looking at charts and trading, find another form of income. Find another hobby. There's plenty of them out there. If you are like me, and as soon as you got into it, you have a fire lit under your ass, and you are a Forex fiend, like we here at CoreFX are Forex fiends, can't get enough of it, then open a demo account, learn it, figure it out. Download and log into MetaTrader after you've signed up for an account. This is the most common trading platform. There's other trading platforms out there, but MetaTrader 4 is going to be the most common. It's very user-friendly. Once you get to use it, it's pretty easy to understand. Um, and then, like I said, begin executing trades and learning how to use a platform on a play money account, on a free account where you have no worries of making mistakes. Now, after you get familiar with a play money account, you're going to need to experience the psychological side of trading to start learning. So take a very small sum of money that you could Throw out the window right now and not care at all. Obviously, everybody's going to care of any amount of money, but an, a, an amount that won't affect your life at all. At all. Put it into an account. $20, $50, $100. Maybe $1,000 is something that doesn't matter to you and you could throw it out without caring. I still wouldn't do that. But everybody's got different lifestyles and different everything. Open up a $50 account and start trading around with it. Start feeling that emotion of, oh my God, you just opened up a trade and now your money's on the line. And oh my God, it just shot up and you just doubled your account. Um, you're going to make mistakes. Make them with small amounts of money. Learn early on what the psychological aspects are. And most, most, most importantly, invest in yourself. Buy books. Um, watch free YouTube videos. Google, find all the free content you can find and just study, study, study. Once you've gotten a good base of knowledge, once you've learned how the markets work, once you've learned the basics, maybe you've learned some technical analysis, support, resistance, trend lines, this, that, um, and you have a base understanding, find a mentor, find someone that can guide you, find someone who's been down that path, who knows the right turns to make, who knows the right decisions to make, who knows the right things to study. And find somebody to learn from that will help you personally. I know this sounds hard and I don't want it to sound like I'm just doing this to sell my business. I am a mentor, but I am trying to create a lot of free content. Reach out to me or there's a million other ones out there. A lot of them are going to be false. Make sure whoever it is, they have traded professionally. They have a track record. They have a name in the industry that is trustworthy. They've done it. And they're not just some Joe Schmo. Find somebody to learn from and learn. Buy books. Buy a course if it's trustworthy from a person and stick to it. Follow all the plans. Watch my other videos and follow the guidelines of how to properly become a trader. And I promise you, you will learn a skill that you can never unloan, unlearn and that will affect your life in a good way for the rest of your life. It is something that can make your family to come financially free if you play your cards right and you do things properly. Investing in yourself, you cannot lose. Ever. If you pay for somebody to send you signals, if you give somebody all your money to trade a managed account for you, that is not investing in yourself. That is investing in somebody else and throwing away your money and, and who knows what's going to happen next. Invest in yourself. Put money into your education. Put time. Invest time. Time is so much more valuable than money. Invest your time into learning. The 10,000 hour rule applies to trading like it does anything else in life. Don't expect to be a pro at this and change your life unless you put 10,000 hours into it. The time is now. Start now. Create a better future. The sooner you start, the sooner you meet it, the sooner you get on track, and the sooner you become free. Okay? Thank you guys. Please stay tuned to the other videos. If you want to learn more technical analysis, look below. Plenty more videos to get you guys started. Check out my playlists on here and you will find a load of free information. Check out my website, corefxtrading.com, core.fx Instagram, and I will help you guys along the way. Student of mine or not, I am here to help. 
I've been down the road. I know what it's like. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate the time and the support. And uh, all my Forex fiends out there, I'll see you in the next one.